de-baptisms increase as Italian apostasy rises. The Union of Rationalist Atheists and Agnostics, or UAAR, made de-baptism possible two decades ago in Italy. They launched an online registry where people can submit applications for de-baptism. UAR, UAR just estimates that more than 100,000 people have already been debaptized in Italy. In 2020, according to the Archdiocese of Brescia uh, in eastern Milan, they, they alone received 27 applications for debaptism. This year, as of August, again, this single uh, diocese says that they have debaptized 72 people. Although data is lacking, the actual numbers may be higher. According to Reverend Daniel uh, Mombelli, the vice chancellor of the Diocese of uh, Brescia, uh, anyone who applied for debaptism is committing the crime of apostasy. This crime is punished with automatic excommunication, prohibitions on being a godparent, and losing the right to a Catholic funeral. Other than disbelief, people who have been debaptized mentioned social issues like LGBTQ rights, euthanasia, and abortions as the driving cause behind their decision to leave the Catholic Church. Yeah, I don't I don't think people who are taking so much effort into making sure they leave the religion are gonna be upset about not being able to have those like I don't know, a religious funeral. Like, oh my God, so sad. I just left your religion. Why do you think that would make me upset? Like yeah. <laughs> like why are you why are you threatening me with something that I don't give a crap about? Like do they do they understand like if you leave our religion you would not get a religious funeral. Like do you understand it's so funny <laughs> Why are they like? Why would you think I will work as a threat? They don't mm -hmm. want anything to do with the religion. I love how they're taking their apostasy so seriously. Like I thought, like you know, when we left our religion, there wasn't like an official like set like deep. What does it entail to be debapt? I want to be so de something. <laughs> <laughs> de shahada. I want to. Um... I just I just stopped believing and I would and that was it and I was an apostate like but this is like I don't know fancy it seems like well yeah more because official when, and fancy. correct me if I'm wrong but there is no like baptism yep. sacrament in Islam like when you're a Catholic can I be you get baptized and there's oh. a registry and there's documentation oh. and they have forms yes. within their own governing body within the Catholic Church that tracks who was baptized because then that's also how they keep track of who's allowed to have weddings who's allowed to receive sacraments who's allowed to receive last rites who's allowed to receive a funeral be buried in a catholic graveyard all these things so for me if you go to the my parish where i grew up i'm still a catholic i'm still on their books documented as a catholic there's bureaucracy involved in a way that it there isn't bureaucracy involved in many other faiths um what i think is really interesting is um this was originally highlighted in um religion news service which is an awesome place for religious news and they are they're affiliated with the associated press and um they were talking about how whoops um this is a fantastic quote this just is this is so it's just so chef's kiss to me okay so um the head of the the um this atheist organization in Italy said that many Italians are still unaware of debaptism as an option. In the past, the association would organize debaptism days to advertise it, he said, but it turns out that the church itself is debaptism's best promoter. Quote, whenever the Vatican is at the center of controversy, we see that access and, um, traffic to our website grows dramatically, pointing out that on two days in June, the traffic on their website went from a daily average of 120 visitors to more than 6,000. Not coincidentally, perhaps, a few days earlier, the Vatican sent a note to the Italian government asking to change some language in a proposed law aimed at criminalizing discrimination based on sex, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, and disability. So Amazing. Let me make this clear. The we covered the story when it first happened. The Vatican sent a letter to Italian lawmakers expressing their concern 
over a proposed law that is an anti-discrimination law. It was a law that would prohibit people from discriminating against the LGBTQ community broadly, right? There's other stuff too, but that was the main thing. This was an unprecedented step and seen as blatant interference into Italy's laws and civic um, life in a way that is not supposed to occur. The, many people saw this as a huge overstep, right? Because the church is basically saying, if you make discrimination on the basis of your sexual orientation illegal, like we're in a bind and actually you're interfering with the treaties that you have between the Vatican and Italy, etc. So that happened. And then they saw an explosion of traffic on their website. It's just so beautiful. Like it just, it really goes to show like, once again, these religious institutions are often the best advertisers and promoters of apostasy. How do they do the debug? Like what's the process? I wonder. I so mean, you have an online I'm form yeah. and you complete the online form and then you detail, you, you like put in writing that you have apostatized, that you have left the mm -hmm. Catholic church and you free to list your reasons why. And then you go mm -hmm. send that to, as an official documentation to the parish where you were baptized. I still need to go do this by the way. Um, Oh yeah. And, can we, can we document this? Like, can we like yes, celebrate we can. it here? Oh my God. That's, I'm so glad that you haven't done it yet. That means we get to see you do it here on Atheist Republic. That's fantastic. Yeah. For people who don't know, Susanna is an ex Catholic. So mm -hmm. amazing. We could celebrate that. Is there, are there any parties or ceremonies or like anything involved or is it just official documentation? Well, it sounded like they used to have like days to advertise that they do this right? That they provide the service to people to help them get debaptized, quote unquote. But um, it, so they kind of had a little, so like ways to advertise it. I don't know if they had celebrations, but can, I would like, I would like, a, I would like a celebration. I think, I think like the, the companies are responsible for helping you. They should also have, have add like an extra feature for like, maybe just a little bit extra. You could add an option for them to have like a celebratory, like, I don't know, like they should have like a room or a place or a garden, right? Where they come <laughs> and I don't know, they have to come up with a standard way to celebrate like the bapt. I don't know. I think there should be, because that's what people want. You know what I mean? Like baptism is like the special thing, um, a ritual that people do certain things and makes them feel part of a community. Mm -hmm. And I think we don't, we need to provide an alternative for people. So like they need to make this, the baptism thing, a fun thing. I think if they make it a fun little celebratory tradition, a lot of people might like, a lot of people might like not do all of this because they're like, what's the point? I already don't believe it. Why would I spend my time going out and fill these applications and stuff? Right. But I think it works. It's such a good, uh, marketing against the Catholic Church, where people are, are actually taking all these steps to make sure that they're being debaptized, is just such a good, powerful marketing tool to show like how much people care about not being associated with your organization. So to mm -hmm. promote more people doing it, if you make it somewhat fun, um, maybe a lot of people that didn't care to go and do it are now going to be like, "I want to be part of this. That looks like kind of fun." You know? Yeah. What I mean? it, like it reminds me how um, do the group. Yeah. The, the Council okay. of Ex-Muslims of Britain, like when people become ex-Muslims, they have a coming out party. So it reminds me of that, like to make it more fun mm -hmm. to celebrate your apostasy. Um, it'd I, be, I, idea, I would love to do say. that. It'd be so much fun because part of the reason why some people might say, well, like, why does it matter to you? You know, um, it matters mm -hmm. to me personally because I am still counted as a Catholic. Like they can still yeah. put me forward as in in their statistics as a catholic and i'm not and i would like the church to have that documented um and there was other people in the live chat saying like oh you know like 72 people at one archdiocese like that's nothing in italy blah 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 there are some statistics that show that um roughly 30 percent of italians are atheists um so mm. this is like that's huge right yeah. Um, it's even larger than estimates of the, uh, United States, if I remember correctly. So the difference is, is that 
a lot of people just don't go this extra step of actually doing this paperwork to be removed. Because like I said, the Catholic Church has bureaucracy in the ways that other faiths don't. And also it's very different because um, Catholicism is such a, it's such a, it's a very cultural thing in Italy, right? Mm. So a lot of people probably wouldn't go that length because they just see it as part of their culture, even if they don't believe it personally, which is fine. You know, that's they, why, that's why they, they need to make it more fun. I think it will be like, see, Dark, Dark, are you an ex-Catholic? Because Dark is saying, I don't care enough to do it, to be honest. See, like, this is what we need. We need, we need to make it so that people are more motivated than, you know, like maybe they could make it if, do you get like a certificate that is beautiful that you could hang on your wall or something? You know what I mean? Like a degree or there needs to be um, something. You know? I have a you friend know. who went through the process of getting his apostasy mm -hmm. recognized by the parish where he was baptized. And they like sent him a letter, like acknowledging that you are no longer a Catholic. Like your names have been stricken from yeah, the but Again, I, th there's so many ways to make this an NFT. Maybe you get an NFT that you could trade. <laughs> Oh my God! Did you and the blockchain. I swear to God. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's like we can put your apostasy on the blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> no one can take it from uh, you. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.